specialty coffee is what, less than 1% of the entire coffee production of the world. So we work in that 1% of coffee production. And then the area that we work in, which is even higher than that, like, or even a smaller percentage than that, it's, it's tiny, like we all know each other. If you ever looked at a score sheet that we use for specialty coffee, our score sheet goes from 60 points to 100 points. It goes from 6 to 10. And that's because anything under 60 is considered commercial. 60 to 80 is considered premium, and 80 to 100 is considered specialty. If you're to compare those scores to like wine spectator scores or something like that, um, why the wine reviews will often give really high 90 point reviews to a few different wines in a production year or whatnot. Um, with coffee that doesn't happen, really the only third party review site we have is Coffee Review. Only one that ever really came close is the Geisha La Esmeralda. Um, and that was, I think, was 2005 crop or something like that. Panama? It's the La Esmeralda, it's the Petersons family. And they do, they were the first ones to have production of geisha, which geisha is a varietal of coffee from the geisha region in Ethiopia, and the geisha varietal was planted very widely through Panama uh, after colonization, after Spanish colonization, and through the coffee crisis of the 80s, when there was no specialty coffee or no coffee around, um, farmers needed higher yielding crops, and therefore they, re they ripped out all of their geisha and planted other varietals. And this one estate, Las Moradas, somehow miraculously found some really, really old um, geisha plants growing on their estate and decided to separate them out, and that's how we know about that coffee now. Your really low-grade coffees. So that's your, most of your major supermarket brands, that's, uh, like Dunkin' Donuts and like me, right? That's that's what it is. So the 99% is like Sanka and Uban and Folgers and the major grocery brands, um, Farmer Brothers, things like that. Now obviously those brands are also getting into the specialty market because now they're selling Arabica and 100% Colombia and that kind of thing. Um, but still the majority of the coffee in the world that's going into instant coffee and um, you know, Nescafe and all that stuff. That's all, generally speaking, commodity market coffee.